well dear students i welcome you all in the semester second uh in the zoology subject let us today begin with the introductory lecture about the your syllabus of the semester second in subject zoology so here you are dealing with comparative anatomy and developmental biology of the vertebrates in this semester uh, all of you are well aware about the scheme of the various uh, internal and assess internal assessments external assessment and external theory papers that you have already done in semester first i need not to repeat them but i would like to introduce with the syllabus what you are going to study so as i have already uh, told you that this is a comparative anatomy so comparative anatomy means when you will compare the anatomy of one group of animals with the other group of animals say for example you are comparing the anatomy of the mammals with the apes and then with the reptiles then with the amphibians so on and so forth and you are also having some topics about the developmental biology developmental biology you can understand in which you study how the organisms develop from the egg then zygote and then into the individual so in very first topic you are having the comparative study of the integumentary skeletal system integumentary and skeletal system they are the two system you all know integument means skin the outermost covering of the body here you will study the structure of the skin and the function of the skin and then there are some derivatives some glands that are derived or that are originated from the integument of the skin you will study them uh, they are the glands also then scales they are also derivative of the integument horns are also derivatives of the uh, integument and feathers also then you will study the skeletal system in skeletal system you will study the evolution of visceral arches and the jaw suspension in the vertebrates the next topic the next uh, uh, rather unit will be the digestive and respiratory system so you will study the comparative account of elementary canal and the digestive glands associated with the elementary canal in vertebrates digestive glands will include salivary gland liver and pancreas so what are the different types of elementary canal in various groups of the vertebrates you will study similarly in the respiratory systems what are the different types of respiratory systems in the vertebrates somewhere they are gills somewhere they are ling lungs and then in the respiratory systems sometime you may have the accessory respiratory organs so the the gills and the lungs are the main respiratory organs along with them you have the accessory respiratory organs like swim bladder in the air sacs swim bladder in the fishes air sac are in the birds so you will study what are they and then the unit third you will study circulatory and urinogenital system circulatory system you can well uh, judge from the name which will circulate something in your body the blood is the main component of the circulatory system in your body and the blood vessels so you will study the evolution of heart in vertebrates what are the different types of vertebrates uh, the different types of heart in in the vertebrates then you will study the modification of aortic arches in vertebrates aortic arch are the arch that originate from the heart and what are the different modifications in different groups of vertebrates because you are here studying the comparative account of the anatomy then in the urinogenital system urino you know uh, related with the excretion of the urine and the genital means reproductive system and then uh, you will study in the urinary system the origin and the types of vertebrate kidney so how the kidneys have originated what are the different evolutionary structures in the evolution of the kidney and what are what are the different types of kidney then you will study the evolution and the urinogenital duct in vertebrates so what are the different urinogenital ducts in the vertebrates then in the fourth chapter you will study nervous system and the sense organs so different types of brains in the like in the poises 
in the amphibian reptiles apes and mammal because you can well understand that the nervous system is not similar in all the groups that is why level of intelligence varies from one group to other so uh, level of intelligence vary because because the development of uh, nervous system is different in the mammal it is highly developed and among the mammal in the human being brain is highly developed so what is the form of the brain in pisces amphibia reptile and apes similarly the sensory receptors like the photoreceptors uh, the eye through which you uh, can see and you can uh, receive the light in your body and you can uh, see the images and the different things they are the component the photoreceptions so what are the different types of photoreceptors and then in the developmental biology you will study how gametes are formed in the male it is the spermatogenesis in the female it is the oogenesis so here the sperm will be formed in the oogenesis it will egg will be formed and how the fertilization will takes place what is the external fertilization what is the internal fertilization fertilization you all know is the meeting of the sperm and the egg and then what is the capacitation the acrosome reaction the penetration and the activation of ovum migration of pronuclear and fibixis all these are the steps which are uh, which are which involved which are involved in the fertilization process and then how once the zygote is formed it broke break down into various cells so single or single cell zygote uh, transform itself into multicellular organism so cleavage is the pattern through which it start dividing so we will study what are the planes of the cleavage what are the patterns of the cleavage and the blastulation and the fate maps also in the frog that how you can uh, you can have the fate of the various cells of the blastula that what are the cells of the blastula which will form the different structures of the uh, adult uh, body then gastrulation in frog you will study how the gastrula which will form because you know after the zygote it will be the blastula so this is the blastulation then the gastrula will be formed how the gastrula and the three germ layers will be formed what are the morphological movements of the cells which lead to the formation of gastrula then you might have seen that the, there are some membranes around the embryo they are extra to the embryo they don't take any part in the formation of the embryo so you have the extra embryonic membrane in the chick you will study and the placenta in the mammals which enclose the developing uh, young one in the womb of the mother so this is all about the five topics that you will study broad topics broad units you can see in which various, there are various sub topics that you will study in this semester and then uh, in the end of the syllabus i will share you the syllabus this pdf in the in your uh, class and you will see various types of the books that you can consult some of them are very much available in our our library also so uh, you can consult them for the same this is and then in the practical part you will study uh, the various structures like in the amphiaxis the vellum oral hood and the pharyngeal region then you will study the in the fishes what is the ampulla of lorenzini what are the plecoid scales what are the tenoid scales then you will study the skull of the fowl and rabbit then you will study the appendicular skeleton of the fowl then you will study the uh, developmental stages of the frog the whole mount of the frog through permanent prepared slide they are very much available in our uh, in our lab uh, this time we have brought them there tadpole external internal gill stages are there St uh, study of chick embryology is there that you will study and similarly demonstration of placenta in mammals through models are preserved preserved specimens so what are the different types of placenta in mammal you will study over here then you will study the histological section in the histological section uh, uh, various photo micrographs of the placenta, placenta you will study in order to know what are the different types of the cellular structures of the placenta then you will study what are the gametes how they look like like the sperm and the ova and then you will also study the feet claws and the feathers and the beaks i mean the types of all of them in the birds as they vary from one bird to another and then you will study in the fishes the digestive system and the how you will take out the pituitary in the vivarian ossicle because pituitary is very important 
as it is involved uh, when we will culture the fish so pituitary is the uh, is the gland the extract of which will be injected into the uh, fishes for artificial spawning while culturing the fish thanks this is all about the part of the syllabus that you will study in this semester second i best of i wish you best of luck and uh, i uh, will request all of you that all of you must join we shall study uh, through wise app all of you must join in this uh, pandemic period uh, through online as the offline mode teaching is not possible in, during this uh, time so all of you must cooperate and must attend the class i will uh, uh, have the attendance on each day as it is the option available in the wise app and uh, i will uh, see that who, who are the students which are not who are not attending the class and what are the reasons if the reason is not uh, logical so the assignment will not be given to these students they will not be allowed to sit in the examination thanks best of luck and i once again request all of you to attend the class regularly and punctually thanks have a nice day